Hi, this is uh, Stuart Talley. I'm a partner here at Kershaw Cutter and Ratnoff, um, and I'm here today to talk about um, the Striker Rejuvenate hip. Uh, this is a hip that was recalled uh, July of last year, and uh, we have many clients who have this hip, and um, it seems to me that one of the biggest questions that a lot of our clients have is uh, whether they should have the hip replaced or not. Uh, they've received a recall notice from their doctor, they've had blood tests done, and, and they're really concerned about cobalt and chromium and they're not really sure what to do. Um, what, what we've noticed, uh, and we have lots of clients, so we've looked at a lot of medical records, talked to a lot of surgeons, is that there's really three things the surgeons are looking at to make the decision as to whether to, to replace the device or not. Um, the first thing is the, uh, they do a blood test to see how much cobalt and chromium is in the blood. Um, cobalt and chromium is measured in parts per billion different surgeons seem to have different cutoffs. Um, some are very concerned if it's above five parts per billion. Some are using seven parts per billion as a number. Uh, the second test that they'll do is something called a MARS MRI. And this is a special MRI that can be done when you have hardware present in the joint. Uh, and it can detect pseudotumors and fluid accumulation in the hip. Uh, and then the third thing they look at is the pain level of the patient. Um, if the patient has lots of pain, um, they're obviously a lot more concerned. Uh, so those are the three things that they look at, and doctors will factor all of those things in and take everything else into consideration. Uh, so we encourage everyone to talk to their doctors. Uh, at Kershaw Cutter and Ratnoff, we're here to help uh, you with your legal needs. Um, if you have a striker rejuvenate hip, you can reach us at 1-888-290. 4472 or you can reach us through our website at cobalt-chromium-toxicity.com.